So I get tons and tons and tons of messages in my, my YouTube inbox on the daily of people asking about when uh, either 2.0 Eclair is coming out for their G1 or their MyTouch or whatever or um, 2.1 is coming out and any all kinds of that stuff. So people are always like itching and like, hey, hey man, when when's that new 2.1 going to come out, man? And just totally tweaking out about just the new Eclair stuff because they want to they want to try it on their uh, the G1. With that, I have found a really really good Eclair ROM. It is uh, probably the best out there. It's made by this guy named Chris Sawyer. He's a really cool guy. We we talk a lot with him on Tiny Chat and stuff with our little geek geek nerd parties that that we hold every so often. I love you guys. Say hi. Yeah! <laughs> it's a nerd party, hey! Nerd party! <laughs> uh, it used to be Intention ROM or something, but then he kind of just changed the name of it and um, changed the game, sort of, to think about it. Let's get to it. This is Open Eclair ROM, and this is from Chris Sawyer and a bunch of other crazy cool guys. It's like a, like a Little Wayne video with all the different rappers coming in and doing their collab things, so pretty awesome. Let's do it. Uh, first thing you're going to notice is it has the 2.1 Nexus lo um, lock screen. And that's the, uh, the ones with the little sliders here. So volume off, volume on. Um, those were pretty smooth and nicely. So there you go, you unlock it. When you press the home screen, you guys are going to be given the option of either selecting home or launcher. Home would just be the default, like normal home screen that you're used to. Launcher is actually what we're go I'm going to show you right here and this is the the literal Nexus 1 launcher or home screen. It was ripped out from Nexus the Nexus dump or whatever and um, ported over to the G1. So as you can see it runs pretty smooth, nice and quick. I, I was actually really surprised. You got the little tabs at the bottom and stuff and you can click them and just go left or right that way too. It's kind of cool. There's actually a way to make it zoom out and it'll show like cards at the bottom of all your home screens and you can select it. I, I'm not really sure exactly how to do that, but the coolest thing about this this launcher is that it's Launcher 2 and um, the one that's that's making everyone freak out is because we never really thought we'd see this on a G1 and that is... Uh, it's got the cool uh, app tray from the Nexus 1 or 2.1. There you go. It's got the cool thing. It doesn't actually have the cube effect where these things will fade in and out like on a cube type thing but uh, this is still pretty rad and I know a lot of people are gonna go extra crazy and all happy about it because this is just really really super rocking. It's just crazy. The, the thing about it is it just it totally is just crazy to me that this is even being done on the G1s. Um, with more optimization and stuff I feel like this will be really really awesome but this ROM does have the RAM hack so it's pretty uh, it's, it's pretty nice to have the, the available memory the thing is though, when you have the launcher, let me see if I can select it, right? When you have the launcher open, that is 7.7 .7 megabytes and that's constantly being used in your background. So it does have the RAM hack, but if you're going to be using this bad boy here, the, the regular home screen, it's, it's just, it basically cancels out the RAM hack. Another really, really awesome feature that I know people are gonna go totally bonkers over is, well, this will probably take a second. <laughs> These wallpapers and live wallpapers. Uh, all the live wallpapers are working and they actually run pretty pretty smooth and nicely on the G1. It's it's actually really surprising. Uh, you got the polar clock and all that stuff. Um, the only one that gives me a force close is Magic Smoke, but Galaxy works. It doesn't exactly spin. Live wallpapers, if you're using the launcher too, which is this one here, uh, the live wallpapers also work on the other launcher, the one that doesn't have this cool app drawer and it has the uh, the regular one that you're all used to. Uh, live wallpapers also works on that other home screen too. Um, the downside to using live wallpapers is that they too take up a lot of extra RAM in the background and stuff. Let me just pull up my process manager here. Okay, so as you can see here, I have Android Live wallpapers running. Right now my available memory is at a shockingly low 9.1 megabytes. Okay. The downside to using Live wallpapers, not just as far as the RAM goes, but it will totally consume your battery. Um, not really too useful, it's just kind of 
kind of fun to use if you're you're at a party or a, like a bisexual bridal shower or maybe you just want to show it off to your um friends that have an iPhone like hey look at all this cool look at all these cute lights and stuff man things I like about this ROM are all the 2.0 eclair apps and features so like the contacts the cool little pictures and you can do like weird little I think if you hold that down right oh yeah it brings up that cool little slider thing I've never used this once <laughs> But this is basically what you're missing out on if you have um, a 1.6 ROM right now and you you just feel like 2.1 is the bee's knees and all that. This is this is what you're missing out on. Um, don't use those features, so don't really care too much. But yeah, this is what people have been aching and begging for. Speed for an Eclair ROM is generally pretty fast. I mean, it's pretty quick. The ROM itself is pretty stable. I haven't really had any forced closes or anything. A uh, camera seems to be forced closing when I open a really heavy or huge app. Um, that's pretty much the only force close that I've seen with this. So it is pretty, pretty stable. Another thing is it's an open ROM, so it, it kind of takes the whole philosophy and idea of Android being open source and it, um, just kind of runs with that and that this, this whole ROM is basically open for all devs to kind of come in and tinker with and add and, um, mess with and just make the ROM better, better for everyone that, that wants a better ROM, uh, on their G1 and stuff. So... Um, this ROM will pretty much continue to advance. You will see lots of updates on this when they uh, work on it. And uh, those are kind of the two hottest developers right now, I would say. Chris Sawyer and Wes Garner are really great guys. And um, I totally love what the what they're doing with this whole this whole ROM and the whole idea behind it and everything. So big ups, big ups to those guys. Things I don't like about this ROM are just, I mean, I guess the speed. I can't really use this because I've been so spoiled with Super D. But for some people that are maybe... Uh, have yet to uh, even root their phones and they're coming from a stock just stock G1 this has the five screens and it's gonna be a lot faster than their stock G1 is anyway so um, those people could probably like it the launcher 2 is a little buggy uh, as well as the the Nexus gallery I already mentioned that those um, kinda don't really work too well launcher 2 gives me some trouble I've only seen a few um, like kernel panics and a, a restart uh, as a result uh, maybe one frozen screen where I actually had to do a battery pull, but like I said, this ROM is pretty early, so there there's tons of room for, impro for improvement. And uh, with Chris Sawyer and Wes Garner working on it, of course, it, it is going to further improve and just get better. So another thing I don't like are just the live wallpapers and launcher, uh, launcher two actually with the cool zooming in effect and all that stuff. That one from the Nexus, those are basically just for show. Uh, they take up such huge resources; they're really not um, practical to use as far as um, just keeping them on your phone permanently. It's not really so much a problem um, with the ROM. It's not something I really dislike about the ROM. It's more something I dislike about our phones just being that um, G1s are so limited with RAM and stuff that this wouldn't really be an issue if you had a phone maybe that had a little bit more RAM and stuff. So um, uh, one more thing that does not work on this ROM is the video. Video does not work so if you're trying to look at um, YouTube or go online and look at um, a couple of flash videos or something that you would uh, play with the the YouTube player uh, they don't they don't work so that might be a huge problem for some people that like to look at the YouTube vids or um, maybe some of the more naughtier sites online and stuff so yeah I, I've said it before but I'll say it again this ROM is really for the people that felt like they were missing out or uh, being stuck with a 1.6 donut on their G1 I know when the, the news came that T-Mobile or uh, the HTC announced that uh, they won't be going past 1.6 on the G1, a lot of people felt like they were getting um, shafted or something. They were, they were getting really, really pissed off about it because everyone wants 2.0 and 2.1 and all that stuff eclair on their phone. I've said it before, it only adds a couple of new features and some of those features you might not even use, so I don't really know what the deal is. but. Some people just really want what they can't have, but now you can have it. And it's all thanks to Chris Sawyer and Wes Garner and all the other devs and the, the Android community. They've really just done the impossible and they deserve, I mean, all the praise. And um, if you uh, want to show your thanks, I suggest doing so in the form of a donation. I'm going to post a link on the sidebar somewhere. But, I mean, really, these guys are just doing all of this for free. And like I said before, they accomplished the impossible for us and people with our, our G1s and maybe don't have the money to uh, even afford to upgrade to a Nexus one, but at least you can have that experience on your G1. Show them your appreciation for their time and effort and um, 
Show them that the Android community is the greatest and that we support our devs and um, everything that they're doing for us. Just peep the sidebar for more info. Uh, there's going to be a lot of important info on there and a lot of times people have questions, but I usually put tons of information in the sidebar. So that's about it for this ROM review of Open Eclair. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see y'all soon.